semi-pro football is headed to Oklahoma City, but the league is already throwing a flag on the play before things even get started. Back in December, we told you about the kickoff for the Oklahoma City Wranglers. At the time, the team also announced plans to make Crossroads Mall the site of their new stadium. But now conflicts, uh, conflicts rather between mall representatives and the league may bring that spring kickoff to a halt. Ashley Moss is in the studio with us tonight to tell us what's wrong with the game plan. Ashley. Well, Kevin and Jolene, there were high hopes when OKC first announced it wrangled a semi-pro football team of its own. But now the players responsible for filling that stadium are pointing to a parade of problems. Instead of tossing footballs, representatives for the mall and the league are tossing serious accusations instead. The commissioner for the UFL calling for penalties for misrepresentation. There's no GM listed. That's not a title that we even have. Because I was the acting general manager. Basically said, well, I can be like your general manager, you know, and he was like, absolutely. So, so it was a verbal agreement. Through coach J.D. Reynolds. By the way, Wallace is married to Carrie. She's in charge of leases for the mall. The league filed a police report on suspicions of wire fraud after getting a request for a lease payment. We got wire instructions, but it didn't come on letterhead, didn't come in a, a, a form like you would expect. We have no business with Crossroads Convention Center. The mall and the Wranglers had an agreement. Ms. Lawrence was merely a representative. I collect the, the deposits on, the, on any of the tenants and then I hand the money over to the owners. So there's nothing weird or he didn't have the money was the problem. There's also been talk of corporate sponsorship scams. Carrie and Wallace say none of it's true. So you guys have not collected anybody? We've never even made a marketing call. They're concerned the league won't make good on paychecks or proper paperwork. He didn't fulfill his lease and we've yet to see a document from the builder that signed saying 100% it's being built. But they'll admit they're wrong if the league can prove it. If yeah. he's able to build that stadium and that stadium holds game starting on April 1st, I'm going to be very excited. But right now it doesn't look good. Commissioner McClendon says he's got a contingency plan to get to kickoff on April 1st. Know that we committed to the city. Uh, we're going to be there regardless. We just want this thing cleared up so we can get back on course. Now you may remember OU football favorite J.D. Runnels. He's still ready to round up those Wranglers as head coach. I spoke with him today and while he's not commenting on this particular situation, he says things are still on track for the spring season. A lot going on.